Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to do a full tour on my 1991 Mercedes-Benz 190E. And today, I'm gonna start up, show you the interior and the exterior of the 190E. And so, without further ado, Here's the keys. Here on. Let's go and start it up and let it run. Car, the exterior is white with black pinstriping down the side, and it's got a dark blue leather interior. In fantastic shape for its age, it really is. It even still has the factory mats, which is pretty nice as well. I cleaned them up yesterday. It's nice. This car only has 152,806 miles on it, it's not too bad for a 30 year old car. Pretty nice. For those you get you guys that don't know, I bought this car about two years ago. Or actually my grandparents bought this car for me about two years ago and we've just been trying to fix it up here and there. Here's the key for it. Let's go and start it up. I also have a aftermarket stereo, it's a touch screen. Nice. Has a four spoke leather wrapped wheel. Very nice and easy power steering. The steering wheel is actually in good shape. I'll just put this cover over it to take care of uh, the leather underneath it. Has a four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. Got your parking brake right here. Handbrake. Very nice. Also has power windows as well, but they're located in the console down here. So we will go ahead and turn on the hazards, which are located down here. Headlights, and it does have fog lights. And we'll check out the exterior. Like I said, this car is in pretty good shape for its age. It does still need a little bit of work here and there. We put we put some blue lights in it as well, which are very nice looking in my opinion. Very nice looking car. Also have a bunch of stickers on my back window. That's one thing you'll know about me, I like stickers. 
It also has gold trim on the top. All right, now we'll check out the interior. Over here you have your door panel. That's your door handle right there. Your locks, it's right there. I just have my wallet and some money in there. Pretty nice. Now we'll check out the interior. So here's all the stuff for the car on the inside. It's pretty cool. So here's my lights, as you can see right there. My vent. This controls the lighting for the back of the car right there. And then I have my mirror up here and it tilts down and up. And then over here, basically I have my stereo. It's a CD player. Um, it has all these types of features. I can show you the USB stuff or what well, has USB. So I can go to settings and I can do the bass, stuff like that, display. Now I go to radio, control the where I'm located at, stereo off or on, which I don't understand what that part is, so I just leave it alone. And then this is like an alarm on this radio. Then it has the tilt mode, tilt angle. One time it was set at a tilt where I couldn't even, the screen would not even light up. Um, and I had to adjust the tilt. Hang on, let me go back. Also has Bluetooth where I can call people actually from this car. Treble, bass, faded, you know that all that stuff. Now I have the DVD or yeah, where I can play, put in like CDs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Then up here I have my climate control right there. Air conditioning, your front defrost. That's actually your rear defroster for the back. This is your temperature, this is your fan speed right here. This thing actually has good heat, but I think the AC needs a charge. Okay, I'm gonna show you the guys the radio. So you go right here to radio. And you can play your stereo. pretty nice down here is like my ashtray but i don't use this as an ashtray i use this as my change holder then over here i have my lights for under the dash it's pretty nice look at them floor mats they look nice then here's the windows your mirror control for that side and it works as you can see this is like the if you want to fade the speakers up in the front and not in the back, you can do that right there. Armrest, that's just the remote for the radio. It kind of works the same way. I'll show you that. You got your angle. You can control all that stuff from there. Back here is like a little ashtray. Pretty cool. Right here's the wiper. We actually put a new wiper blade on it the other day. It's it's only one wiper on this car. It's pretty neat. There's Dad's $500 Jeep. If you're wondering, that thing's still doing pretty good. He's put about 8,000 miles on it, so still doing great. Got your visor up here. Then you have a sunroof. Slides all the way back. Your interior light. So if you want that one, you can have that one, or you can have both whichever one you prefer other visor over there simple car this is like your cruise control right here you have your mirror control on this side your little vent controls right here which both of them are actually broken i'm gonna have to get new ones 
And no, I didn't push put the stash mat in here because it was cracked. I put it in here just to protect the dash. I think it's good to protect your car the best you can from fade. That's why we tinted the windows as well. The back window is pretty dark. There's turtle. It's pretty cool. All right, I'll go ahead and shut it down. See the radio goes back in. And then my antenna goes back in as well. Wow, it went in all the way. Nice. Then you have these handles up here. Actually, on all of them. Then you have coat hooks from right there, basically. These headrests are adjustable, and they're very comfortable as well. But also, I keep mats on top of the factory mats in the back because it's so nice. Then you just have the little airbag warning sticker from the factory. I also have one down here as well. It's pretty cool how this car still has some of the original stuff. You just don't see a lot of them. So we'll check out the back and stuff like that. So here's the back. Pretty cool. You got your window control back here. It's just a new car scent air freshener. I don't really sit back here a lot because it's super nice and I don't want to mess it up. But basically, this is your armrest. Pretty comfortable. Give you guys a view of the front from the back. Sweet. My head is kind of touching the ceiling. This is a car, a tiny car for what it is. Also, it still has the actual factory medical kit in the back for, I don't know if you call it medical kit or whatever you call it, the first aid kit. But sadly, this broke, so I'm gonna have to get a glute or something. But I don't know. There it is. So there's the original first aid kit. Too old. It's still pretty neat to still have one this old that still has it. Yeah, that's broken. Which I hate because we'll just leave it like that. Hang on, let me try and do this the right way. I hate that I broke that, I really do. It makes me feel bad, because it wasn't broken until I got it out one day and it broke. Yeah, this is the back pretty much. Look how nice the carpet is. It's very nice. Um, it even has the netting. I'm sure they were used at some point just because they've sagged over the years. So. Here's the, uh, here's the trunk, pretty cool. I have all kinds of paperwork in there on this car, documentation and stuff like that. For, even from the last people who owned it. Um, I have a set of jumper cables just in case if I ever need them. Knock on metal, I haven't used them yet. I have my car cover. I just have a towel in here for some reason. This was the towel that was in it when my grandma, when it was at my grandmother's house. So I left it in there. So this is pretty much the car. You also have your fuel door. And on the mirror it says, objects and mirror are closer than they appear. Something like that. So, pretty cool. You got your locks. Storage down there. Sweet old car. There he is. Look at that carpet, how nice it is. It just, it's in fantastic shape. I don't even know if you can get any better than this. Got your glove box.
Oh, and by the way, this is, if you're wondering, this is the cord to my phone. I can, I can just plug this in and play music off my phone. So, yeah. Also, you can adjust the seat belts. You can adjust the seat belt height right here, which is pretty cool. I like to leave it up because sometimes I don't like how, um, or sometimes I like to leave it down because sometimes I feel like it kind of cuts your neck or whatever, cuts into your neck, and I don't really like that. So sometimes I just take them down or pull them up, whichever way it is. I can't remember. Sweet. Also, you have the original cassette players that are not broken. Um, that's a fragile part on these old Mercedes. I've been looking them up online, and a lot of these get broke, believe it or not. So, yeah, I'm glad they're not. Look at these wheels. It's just very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the full tour on my first car, my 190E. Stay tuned for my next video. As well, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.